Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to factor polynomials in the pattern of difference of two squares. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now for today's video, ang target natin is to factor out polynomials. At yung pattern natin is difference of two squares. We have here 1, 2, 3, and 4 examples to factor out. And then later on, I will give you your assignment as part of our routine. Now, what is the difference of two squares? Ito yung pattern natin na gagamitin to factor out these polynomials na meron tayo. In the difference of two squares, ito siya. Paano natin gagamitin itong pattern na to in a given polynomial? You need to identify whether the first term is a perfect square and the second term is a perfect square. Here in the pattern, x squared minus y squared is an example of difference of two squares. Pero aside from that, aside from this and this are being perfect squares, dapat subtraction or minus yun sa gitna. And the pattern is this. The factors are simply the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. And you can also write this as x minus y times x plus y. Any of the two pattern or factors, pwede. So, paano ba kinukuha yung factors natin? First, kunin lang square root itong x squared, which is x. The square root of the second term, y squared is y. And then, in the long factors mo sa gitna, meron ka ng plus and minus, okay? minus or plus. Now, let's try solving for these examples. In number 1, we are given x squared minus 9. Now guys, x squared is a perfect square as well as 9 at minus yun sa gitna natin. So, what are the factors? The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. So what are the factors? The factors are this one, x plus 3, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Or, pwede rin to, x minus 3, then x plus 3. These are the possible factors of x squared minus 9. Now, let's continue with number 2. In number 2, we are given 36x squared minus 25. Check muna natin whether this one is a perfect square. 36 is a perfect square as well as x squared, meaning this is a perfect square. 25 is also a perfect square. So uh, this one is under difference of two squares. Now let's factor. Square root of 36 x squared is 6x. The square root of 25 is equal to 5. So the factors are 6x minus 5 times 6x plus 5. So this is, these are the factors of number 2. So I hope na nakuha nyo yung pattern natin on how to factor polynomials. Now guys, you can pause for a while and check if you can factor out number 3. We have 100 x squared minus 121 y squared. You can pause for a while. Okay. Number 3, 100 x squared minus 121 y squared is definitely under difference of two squares. Why? This one is a perfect square as well as 121 y squared is a perfect square. So let's break it down. The square root of 100 x squared is, this is 10, and then this is x. The square root of 121 y squared is equal to, and 121 is a perfect square, that is 11. Then your y squared, the square root of y squared is y. So the terms are 10x and 11y, meaning the factors are 10x plus 11y times, reverse mo lang yung symbol sa gitna, 
10x minus 11y. These are the factors. Okay? Now, we, have, we, are, we are done with the third, first, and, first, second, third examples. Let's move on with the last one. For the last examples, it might be confusing, pero don't worry about it. Tignan natin mabuti ha. 64, a raised to the fourth power, b raised to the fourth power, minus 625. Here's the question. Is this a perfect square? Yes. The square root of 64, a to the fourth power, b to the fourth power, is... 8ab square root of 625 is equal to how many? What is the square root of 625? Guys. Now, the square root of 625 is 25. This is the first term. This is the second term. So, the factors of this are 8. Oh, by the way, the square root of 8 to the 4th power is a square. Square root of b square is... Uh, b to the 4th power is b square. So the first term are 8 a square b square plus 25 times 8 a square b square minus 25. Ito yung factors natin. So, as you can see guys, medyo congested lang space natin. But, these are the actual factors of this two. Ah, uh, this polynomial. Now, as part of our routine, I will give you an assignment for you to solve for the following, or for this video. For number 5, I will give you 4b square minus 1. For number 6, I will give you 144x squared minus 36y raised to the second power. So, that's it guys. I hope that you learned something from this video on how to factor polynomials and the difference of two squares. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!